back this. Uh, joining me is Estefano Ponticorvo. He's a former senior civilian representative to Afghanistan of NATO and joins me now live from Rome. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. You know, let me begin by asking you, whatever, whatever is happening between Iran and Saudi Arabia, that must be making the U.S. feel very, very uncomfortable. Yes, first of all, thank you for having me back on the show. It's great to be back. Uh, I think that, you know, uh, it is certainly making the U.S. uncomfortable. I very much hope that it's also making the U.S. reflect on the need of changing its blueprint uh, in dealing with countries in the region. The big, uh, in, in the, 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 the Arab world in general and the Gulf region, the big advantage that the Chinese have is uh, being uh, um, perceived as uh, neutral and somebody who can really speak to both sides, which is not the case of the U.S. What do you think would be the impact uh, of uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran repairing ties on the broader region? Well, I think it, it is it, actually it is in everybody's interest. Uh, uh, by the way, also in Chinese uh, interest, as you very rightly pointed out, uh, it does bring a, uh, a um, added security to the Hormuz Straits, uh, which are very important for China because yeah, China is a huge consumer of uh, Iranian and of gas and and oil that comes from the region. But on the wider the wider spectrum, it bode well for security and stability in uh, in the region. You know, the Shia-Sunni divide, and uh, you know, the Iranians being Shia and uh, the, the, the Saudis being Sunnis, has destabilized greatly the region for the better part of the last 10 years. Now, uh, a huge, a very big uh, result of uh, this uh, newfound uh, good relations, if not friendship, is the possibility of really putting an end to the Yemen war, which is a forgotten war by now, but it is, it's a tragedy. Right, now let me uh, talk about uh, how this pact is going to impact the relationship between Saudi Arabia and Israel. Because remember, there is one thing common between Saudi Arabia and Israel. They, don't, they both don't want Iran to pursue nuclear Weapons. Now that uh, they are repairing, uh, now that Iran and Saudi Arabia are repairing ties, does it give Saudi Arabia more leverage over Israel? Look, uh, uh, you know, it, it's my belief and the belief of a number of others that the Saudis and the Israelis have been speaking for a long time. Uh, they have a common enemy, which is, uh, which is, uh, as we said, Iran and its nuclear program, uh, who, which is a common enemy of nearly everybody. The Chinese also, I think, would be very uncomfortable to see uh, nuclear weapons or workable nuclear weapons in Iranian hands. So it does actually, uh, you know, I don't think it changes much in the in the Israeli Saudi uh, relationship, also because the Israelis when they see their national security threatened, they listen to no one, not even to the U.S. So you don't think this is in any way going to impact uh, the situation in Palestine? I don't think so. I think that that is a wider, you know, that's a wider, I think that's a Sunni-Sunni issue rather okay. than a Sunni issue. Okay, now let me move to Yemen, because certainly uh, Yemen... Uh, has been making headlines across the world for a decade now. It is perhaps uh, the worst uh, humanitarian disaster in the world, according to experts. <laughs> What's going to happen with Yemen uh, in the wake of this agreement? I think that you know this uh, this agreement, if a natural, uh, how can I say, spin-off of this agreement uh, will be reached, uh, that will be in Yemen. Yemen is the closest, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a lot easier to solve Yemen, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the Chinese are already working on it, uh, if the Saudi-Iranian relationship is, is good. Now, what, however, I would like to say is that the fact that the two countries are re-establishing uh, diplomatic, uh, diplomatic ties does not very mean that you know, their relationship improves uh, improves uh, immediately. There are strategic interests, uh, Yemen being one of them, which could drag on. However, I think that this, uh, this uh, agreement bodes well, very well, for an agreement on Yemen.
Hey, Stefano Ponticarvo, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time. And now we are.